Okay, Kathy, I saw your question about the CSS for a membership site. What you want to do is uh, just come into your funnel and uh, go to your membership area, open an editor, and you'll uh, come to this page here. And no matter what you see on this page, uh, just delete it all out because you want to start over because that's part of your problem. Let me see if I can find your thing. This background color, uh, a lot of this stuff was set by whoever built the template for you. So you just kind of want to erase everything out of it. You want to create a new section and go in and probably make that full width. And then we're going to create a new block. So it's two columns wide. In the right-hand side, normally people put their membership content. In the left-hand side is where you normally put your, your nav bar. Now, the easiest way to just change this color right here, which is what uh, you're pointing out here, is you just um, click on the little gear, come over, and it says background color. That can change the color of your tab. So let's just take a look at that real quick. Oops, and we will preview. That was an old preview I had. And see it changes the color. Now, if you want different color for different ones, then that gets to be a little trickier. And I forgot to pull up the code, so let me end this video and I'll shoot another one in a second. Okay, Kathy, let me show you how uh, how to do this using CSS. It's a bit complicated and we're going to have to get into a little bit of code, but I can uh, show you how to figure it out. So the first thing we need to do is click on preview and we're going to pick any one of these tabs. Let's just say the second tab, we want to turn this one a uh, bl blue color or something. Okay. So we'll just right click on it and we're going to go down to inspect. Now I'm using a Mac on Chrome. And if you're on Firefox or if you're on a PC or anything else, you should be able to find the same kind of thing where you can right click and you'll find something that says inspect. What it'll do, it'll open up either a window or a sidebar that's going to have all this crazy code text in it. And if it does it right, it should open it up so that this says div. If not, it might show up where like an LI is highlighted. Just click the down arrow and the div should open up right underneath it because it's the div is what we're looking for. Now over in the right hand side, it should say something about a style element with a background color of this red that we had picked. It may not be right here at the top. It may be down a little bit further. But what you can do if you want, and you don't even really have to do this step, but just to show you how this works, is I can just click on this and I can change the color. And let's just say we want to change it to this blue color. See, so it automatically changes the whole background to that blue color. So let's just uh, back out of that. And now in order to make this work, first thing, let's, let's just say we like that color. So let's just pick that again. We can come down, click on this a couple of times, and we'll grab the hex code for that color. And I'll take all this out. So that's the hex code for the color. I've already done this. This is the third time it took me to, uh, to film this. So now what we want to do is come back in here where it says div. And right on the div, you're going to right click. And you're going to come down to copy and come across to copy selector. So it just copied the selector, the CSS selector for that element. So we're going to drop that in. And what this says is this is the third element under this ID. So this ID is actually right here. That's the ID that identifies this whole area. Underneath it, you have an unordered list, a, a list item, and then a div underneath it, which is this box right here. And so this is the third item in this list because there's number one, number two, and number three. So it's the third item in the list. And so what we have to do now is just put in a little uh, left curly bracket, put in back brown dash color colon, 
We will copy that color into it. Oops. Didn't work. Come on. I'll just type it in. Zero D three one E one. It's hexadecimal code. And so then we also have to put in exclamation mark important because what that has to do is it tells the CSS to override any other CSS. You don't always need it, but in this case you do need it because we're just overriding this one element. And then we need the closed curly bracket. And that is all you need. And I will then copy this. Yeah, something is not working right with my computer today. And we will go into settings, custom CSS. If you got any other code in here, just do a couple of carriage returns, come down to the bottom and paste in the code. And if all went right, and we get to save it, we will click on preview. And that box is now blue. Now, let's say you wanted this block box to stay red, but the next couple of them you wanted blue and then maybe go back to red again or even a different color. You can do that by, I'll show you on the text editor here how to do that. What you're going to do is just come at the end of the line after the div, hit a carriage return, and paste in that code again. Except it got all mixed up. Come on. Okay, and then after the first one, you're gonna to wanna to put a comma. So if you have three or four of them, all of them are gonna have a comma except for the very last one right before the curly bracket. Now, again, if you're in here and you got, this is your first, first uh, list item, second, third, fourth. So if we want this one to also be a, uh, be that same color, then we would come in here and we would put in a four. And again, what you want to do is in order to make sure that is four, we're going to come in, right click, inspect. Go to the div, copy, selector, and let's just uh, paste this down at the bottom just to see if it was, nope, actually it was five. Which would make sense because there would have had to have been up in here. There would have had to have been uh, a place for the uh, for the lessons to be put in there. So that makes sense that that would be number five. So that would make now if we had all this code in, which we might as well do. Go back in. paste. So what I'm really showing you here is that you can combine different CSS selectors together into one CSS statement as long as they're all getting the same uh, same conditions in it. So if you got any questions, just uh, give me a holler. Okay, Kathy, it sounds like you're a skilled funnel builder. So let's take a look at this. Let's open it in the editor. And I don't know if you know about version two of the editor. I tend to edit in there, even though I heard uh, Steven say one day not to use it for some reason. I still, um, I use it all the time. So let's go into version two by just typing in underline V2 after the word editor and before the question mark. And um, we'll get it to load up. I don't know if it's ClickFunnels is running slow today or my computer. But um, <clears throat> so let's go into settings. Let's go into background. I'm sure you know about this. So the question is, is um, is the color setting you're having a trouble with? Is that coming up because this background is set or is it because the section background is set? Or is it because, um, well, we could have this row could have the color set or even this element has a background color of red. Let's make that, uh, so well, let's just make that white. And um, let's just see what I, see what I just did. 
Oops, I hit preview without hitting save. Okay, so obviously I can't make this one white, but without changing the text color, um, well, let's just change the text color to black. So I would say that um, your color issue is is one of those background settings, and um, just to go in and, and change them and fit something else, um, it's really hard to tell from your picture if you wanted me to actually look at your funnel, just send me a link to it. Okay, Kathy, well, this is what we can do to fix this problem. Uh, so I went back into the page, right click, inspect. And what I wanna look for is this LI, and it's gonna have a class of membership nav title. And you'll find what you're looking for right here. And if you look, we can uh, change, we can change the amount, uh, well, let's change the background. We can take out the background color. We can change the amount of padding. So it goes back to full width. And then we can also take out that left uh, pad area. I'm sorry, that left um, uh, border. And so that's what I did. Now, how to do this is we have to say left border, none. We have to say padding of zero. And for the background color, the easiest thing to get rid of any color at all is we can just drag this over. And again, I'll show you the exact code when we're done. And what it did is it just added a zero, zero to the end, which means a zero opacity. But what we can also do, if you ever need a need to know how to make a background clear, transparent, just eight zeros as a hex code will make everything transparent. So the code on this, and I can't test it, I can't put it into your thing and make sure this is exactly right, but this should be the code for it. Membership nav title, border left none. Background color, eight zeros with the word important and the exclamation mark afterwards. Padding zero, make sure you always have the um, the colons, the curly brackets, the period before the membership nav, that indicates it's a class. And so you just wanna copy this into your custom CSS for the page and that should do the trick. If you got any more questions, let me know.